Vijayarajan. Thus, Master Vijayarajan, can you please read out the objectives of Priyat's talk show? Uh, good evening, Toastmasters and my dear guests. Uh, today, our uh, speaker, Toastmaster Priyadarshini Baidu, is going to deliver a talk show. And her uh, objectives of the speech are to conduct a successful interview, to understand the dynamics of a successful interview on talk show, to prepare questions to ask during the interview program, to present a pos positive, confident image on camera. The timer, please note, time is 5 to 7 minutes. All the best, Priya Deshni. So Nikit uh, Zarin is a boxer who wins the gold medal in last month, last month, and her next aim is to defeat Mary Home this July in 2019. She emphasizes that let girls do what they like doing and kick out gender discrimination. <laughs> your host and I welcome you all to my talk show Ask the Doctor. As you all know, every week we come up with a topic and our motto is to help every viewer lead a healthy lifestyle. Before I talk on my today's topic, I would like to give a situation. Imagine you are in your house, stuck inside your house and you can't find a way out and you feel there is no one to help you. You have this problem, you go to your parents and they say, this is just a phase of life, a bout of fresh air will help you. You go to your friends telling your problem and they say, come on, stop being a crybaby. Does this situation ring a bell inside you? Yes, I think many have faced this situation. And today we are going to talk on a topic which has made a big news in today's modern world and it is called stress. And we have a guest who will be talking, giving us more knowledge on stress and its related problems. It's time for me to introduce my host, Dr. Alagappan. Thank you for coming to our show. Dr. Alagappan has done his undergraduation from St. Petersburg State Medical Academy and he's done his master's in family medicine from CMC Bello. He's got 13 years of experience as a general physician. He has his office in Belichery. And uh, he has wide experience in diagnosing and treating uh, treating stress-related disorders. It's a pleasure to have you on our show, Dr. Thank you. So my first question is, uh, today's millennials, which we call as from age group, age group 18 to 35, and Generation X, we consider from 35 to 49. It is said that this group are the ones who are under tremendous stress. Why is that in today's modern world when there's so much of luxury and we have this advanced technology, we are still a stress victim? Thank you. This is a wonderful uh, question because uh, nowadays, not only these millennials, from starting from the kids till old age, everyone is under stress. Uh, what the research says is uh, out of uh, 10, 9 people are under stress. And I will tell you with an example, like two days back, uh, a 10th standard girl came with oral ulcers and gastritis, and which is uh, on one of the main uh, physical uh, thing happening people with stress. So I asked whether you are in stress, because this 10th standard exam is nearing. I thought parents are getting pressure. And the parents said, no, there's no pressure from us outside. And uh, uh, we never asked whether she studies or not. And I, when I inquired more, I understood that she is more of, uh, she's getting 99% percentage want to get 80 out of 500. And she worries more about whether she, or the teacher will get uh, offended when she doesn't do this properly. So they have created, like they started um, um, the habit of impressing others from the younger childhood. And I think that's the important reason why people in the millennials like over-stressing, overworking, impressed 
others. Yeah, that is very important. Thing. Yeah, thank you so much. I think this is very apt because all the students are giving their uh, board exams. I think parents should also come to you. It's not external to the kid itself for this taking so much as pressure. Uh, my next question is, uh, people are very reluctant to accept that they are under stress. And even if you try to give them some uh, remedy, they don't want to accept because they don't, they don't know that themselves that they are under stress. So I would like to ask you, what are the signals the body gives you when you are stressed? And you should take this as a, you know, a step where you have to go for a help. Okay. Actually, to answer this question, you should know, first of all, stress is an inevitable thing in our life. Because every time there is, a, if you want to, for example, going into traffic or uh, getting rid of some, um, uh, some uh, danger thing, stress is very much needed, which saves you from, uh, from death. So it's very important to have the two things you should understand is the uh, acute stress and the chronic stress. Acute stress is nothing like uh, the minimum time, for example, number of some hours or for example, someone is coming and speaking here, he has stress, he should under have stress to perform well, that's okay. But some people have started having chronic stress for months and years together. They just leave it there and uh, they just uh, don't understand that they're having the stress. So that's what happens to many people, they don't even realize that they are in the stress. So and, yes. and one thing is that uh, there are two things what happens, one in mind that they don't get sleep and they feel like something is happening and other things in some in physical body can happen. Like even back pain, headache, neck pain, oh, okay. vomiting, anything can happen even in body as well. Yeah. Okay, so even these small symptoms are... Yes, uh, yes. All symptoms can be can relate to stress. Thank you so much. Maybe we are not aware. We kept taking yeah. medicine whenever they have uh, headaches. We think it was another reason. Yes. But it is we who are yeah, putting stress to us. Yes. Thank you so much. Our uh, yesterday we all celebrated Women's Day. It's a day of celebration. But the not so good news is uh, the, it is being the study says women are more stressed than men. Are men. So what is the reason? Is it because she is multitasking these days? What is it?
a quick tip to all the listeners on how to reduce stress of mind. Yeah, eat well, sleep well, Happy. and do exercise regularly, wow. and laugh more, and that's the message for today. Thank you so much. Before I wrap up, I would like to say yes, love yourself the way you love your dear ones. Make time for <coughs> exercise. And don't let the negative thoughts feelings stay well inside you for long. Again, eat well, sleep well. Till next time, keep watching my show, Ask the Doctor. Thank you so much for coming.